What is even going on with my hair today? I just, I can't like look at that. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to my music vlogs. Today I want to talk a little bit about composing, specifically how to start composing a new piece or some tips that I have when you're starting to write a new piece of music. The first thing to understand about composing is that it's not all inspiration. It's not writing a piece in a minute and being done with it and it's a masterpiece. That's not quite how it works. Sometimes it might work that way, but in general it doesn't. Composing takes a lot of hard work, but takes the perspiration over the inspiration. So the first thing I like to do when I'm starting a new piece is I like to improvise. And what this means is I have an idea, like a melodic statement or some harmonies that I like or a rhythm that I like, and then I sit down at the piano and I play around with those ideas. The key here is that we're starting small. We're starting with a small idea, a small theme, and then we're sitting down and we're experimenting with it. We are expanding it. We're generating materials for development. We're seeing where it can go, things like that. You don't have to be a pianist to do this. The gist of improvising is that you take your idea that you have and you play around with it, whether it's on your computer or on your instrument of choice. Change the melody a little bit, see how it sounds, or you change the harmonies a little bit, you see how that goes, and you just let your fingers go, and you let your brain go, and you're listening to the sounds that you're making, because oftentimes you will create materials that you can use in the composition as you're improvising. Here is an example of some improvising. So let's say for example that I have this theme I came up with and I want to do some improvising on. There's the theme. Now I'm going to play around with some harmonies in the bass and maybe expand on the melody a little bit, just improvising. But now I'm going to see what it will be like if I change the harmonies a little bit. So that time, I just let my fingers play. It turned into something more than I had thought it was going to turn into. So that's just an example of what you can do for improvising. The second step is to write down what you create. Write down what you improvised, write down your ideas. This is so important because you don't want to forget. I have a notebook of staff paper that I use and I keep right here by my piano and a pencil that I always just keep handy so that as I'm playing or as I'm improvising or as I'm composing, I can just write down the ideas that I have. If you don't record your compositional ideas, you're not going to be able to use them later because you might forget them. And here's a bonus. If you keep a record, then in the future, even after you're finished with this piece, you can look back and be inspired by the stuff that you've written already. So this notebook of staff paper that I have, I have had for several years, and I don't know if you can see, um, just years of ideas that I've written down. Something else that I like to do as I'm working on a composition is I always print out a hard copy of the music like this. Uh, this is a new hymn arrangement that I'm working on and as I'm practicing it I like to make myself notes on the music. I don't know if you can see those. It's always really helpful for when I go finalize my music because then I have a written copy of my ideas. I'm not just trying to remember them all the time. All right, so the third tip I have when starting a new composition is to compose every day. This is so important. You have your compositional ideas, you've done some improvising, so you've generated some material, you have everything written down. Now the important thing is that you can't just let it sit. Remember when I said that composition is not just inspiration? Now that you're starting this new piece, keep going, keep the momentum going, and that will launch you into completing the piece. If you just let it sit on your shelf and collect dust, it's not gonna get finished, at least anytime soon. Another bonus that I wanna mention is that it's really important to be listening to the music of other composers, whether it's you know modern composers who are alive or the classics, the composers who are no longer alive, because their compositions can help inspire yours. You can hear sounds and ideas that other composers use and be inspired by those, and that has helped me greatly 
greatly in my composing. You'll be surprised at the inspiration you can receive from that. And then of course, don't plagiarize their ideas or steal their ideas, but use the ideas from other composers to help generate your own material. The fourth tip I have for you today ties in with number three, and that is to keep working hard on your composition. So not only compose every day, but compose and be serious about it every day. Work hard on your composition. You'll be surprised at how good your piece can sound if you work hard to make it sound good. The self-evaluation is really important in this step. Ask yourself questions like, does this idea help add to the atmosphere of the piece? Am I happy with how this sounds? Am I playing it safe? Am I just staying in the box? Or is there a way that I can push the boundaries a little bit? If you work hard on your composition, that hard work will show in the final product. Audiences can tell if something has been thrown together at the last minute. Those are some of my ideas on how to start a new composition. Improvise on your ideas, record your ideas, compose it every day, work hard on it every day. Thank you.